Hello, this is how we drive for mass communication here yeah, I'm again with another video in this video I'm going to show you how you can update your Mac Mini M4 or MacBook Air or MacBook Pro to the last version of Tahoe that is Tahoe 26.1 beta version has released yesterday so let's show you how you can install in Mac Mini M4 or you have MacBook Air M4. Let's go to the process. Now we can open from here system setting also at the corner Apple logo system setting. We have to go inside here you see general option you are here software update. Here we can see 17.99 gigabytes of update that is a lot according to my sources maybe there is little less than this one this is not accurate okay in case if you don't have if in case if you don't see this one or you see the beta updates here you have to click this one you have to activate the beta updates in this case you have to have apple developer account you see developer.apple.com if you don't have a developer account you have to click developerapple.com in this page you have to go to account and you have to put your email address with the same email address you continue with the same account of your apple you go inside and create one apple developer account then go inside and make one developer account you see join apple developer program i already have here you see harry jeffrey so make one developer account then you return back you can see this one more than that if you don't see any way you have to check the eligibility of your computer after 2019 all the mac till 2025 are eligible before that most of the mac will not be eligible for these okay one more thing before doing anything you have to make a backup of your computer in case of you want to return back to the previous version older version if you don't have backup you'll have a serious consequences do a backup with the time machine okay so where well, you can see time machine you can click here the search option and type time machine you can see here time machine click this one you have to set up a location and backup to the disk you can do backup so do backup with the time machine so now after doing all the things we have to come here and you have to hit update now or restart so now we'll hit restart you have to put your password then you have to hit ok button installing updates it may restart you see it will take 10 to 20 minutes 30 minutes go and you can grab some tea or coffee meanwhile i'll be back we are almost there last step guys it told me 19 gigabytes but it took almost five minutes depend on the velocity of your internet so i guess it wasn't 19 gigabytes so now we have to hit the update is complete i hit continue button here continue welcome skin lovely you can see here so all is started together here so now question what we have new here there's some box fixing opening the app some lagging in the past it was there but the uh, first thing we can notice here in the app store now supposedly all the icon you can see the icons they look bigger they look bigger than before little bit bigger according to some resources we have here so you can see something bigger here in this case the next thing you can see in music app there are some fixes before here was some line appeared i had some problem before now we don't see anything no line here 
is look more clean and sharp and here at the volume you have to hover before now you have to click or other places for example you see some button i go setting here for example software update so here you see some knob or something some button this you don't have in music app still i think they need to fix this one for the future now it looks incomplete you see is a classical way and nothing as the glass finishing as iphone or ios 26 the next difference you can see in the phone app if i open here okay in phone app you see here we have keypad keypad looks as a liquid glass now you can see the background is more transparent before it was deeper so they change a little bit although it's not a big change in this case next thing you can see in apple intelligence in this case if we go here apple intelligence so before it was only limited to english speaker if you would speak another language for example danish japanese chinese korean italian you didn't have apple intelligence exactly in this case now you can talk in your native language no matter what you speak you have different different option to choose also in earpod translation it can use different different languages it was limited to particular languages now you have many language available in the new apple intelligent version now last thing we can go to appearance here and the effect that we have little bit faster but still you can see little bit slower you see how it takes time slow changing if i put tinted then clear then go to dark is more faster default so there are some lagging is still here and there especially when you put tinted one time first time you see different lagging so maybe in the future it will be more faster depend on the computer although i have mac mini m4 version this is last version before m5 version but it still needs to improve is little bit slow in this case i would say that so there are more minor changes here and there some curve and the front so we're not gonna talk about those simple small things so these are the some important changes if you update to mac os taho 26.1 and install it okay guys if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel if you like this segment please give me a thumbs up take care till then boy